continuing with our Rocky series, we have Rocky 3. Uh, this time the bad guy is played by Mr. T, playing James Clubber Lang, who in a very real way was a fictional version of Mike Tyson before the real Mike Tyson was around. Um, if you're a fan of, of heavyweight boxing from the 70s, you'll probably recognise a few of the guys that Club Lang was based on. But in the grand scheme of things, he more he more closely resembles Mike Tyson, which is kind of a scary thing. Still unpredicted, that type of fighter. This is the one where we say goodbye to Mickey. So Mickey uh, has a heart attack before the first fight between Club Lang and, and Rocky Balboa. Dies. Um, sad. It's a sad thing. Mickey's gone. Um, but this is this is the film that really this was just before Mr. T started with the eighteen. So Mr. T, Lawrence Tarot, was not a global superstar. He did a couple of like tough man competitions and he'd won world's toughest bouncer competition in I think Chicago. I think. Um either way he wasn't the global superstar he would become. This is the film where Mr. T first says Pity the fool. That would go on to become his catchphrase even to today, some 30, 40 years later. It's worth a watch. It's a lot of people's favourite one of the entire series. It's one of my mate's favourite one of the entire series. Um, there's a lot in it that's just kind of what. There's a weird scene where Rocky's training with Carl Weathers as Apollo Creed on the beach. Um, in. in Look, it was it was eighty two. It was a different time. You could only train in very short shorts and a cut off t shirt, exposing your midriff. It would it was a look that twenty years later, um, Shania Twain made an entire career off that look, right? Showing your midriff. It worked for her. It works for these guys. It's a bit odd that Rocky would be so far into his professional career and a former world heavyweight champion and still not have the foggiest idea of footwork we'll move past it um you will watch this and go oh that's a bit wrong but highly enjoyable again it's in some people's minds it goes one three two in terms of how good they are this is one of the more enjoyable ones this is the one that you can sort of go back to over and over and over again and this is one of the ones that gets quoted more often um, highly enjoyable Really, really suggest you watch it if you haven't. It will, it will make you want to start training. Be warned. Rocky Two kind of is where the inspirational power calls start to come into it with a, a proper full-on training series. This is where we get Eye of the Tiger. This is where we get the proper, proper training sequences now, which is what Rocky has become known for. So, if you are trying to watch something to get yourself back in the mood for hitting the gym, Rocky Three you can't go wrong. Even though Mickey, poor mighty Mickey, Mickey dies.